Welcome ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Today we're going to solve another coolest problem which is random knots. So basically this problem is awesome. So basically what we're doing this pro problem. So we have given a magazine and using that magazine we have to generate a random note. Okay. So what did I mean by that by saying this? If you look at this example. So we have something like we I have something string B in my magazine and I have to create a random note magazine which has string A. So this cannot be possible because B is not equals to A. So we will return force for that. And let's say I have something like this over here. If you look at over here, my magazine is my magazine is A A B, and I have to create my random node A. So it is possible. So it is possible. It is true. It will come true for this. Okay. So because why? Because if you look at over here, so in this one, like how many times uh, A is coming? A is coming two times. And how many times the random node is saying? Is saying two times as well. Okay. So it it is possible. But you if look at over here in this example, it's saying like my magazine is A B. My magazine is A B. But my I have to create my ransom node in which I have two A. So I will use I will print one A, I will use one A. Now I want one more A to uh, print true for that to print my ransom node. But I have B in my magazine, so it cannot be possible. So it will return false for that. Okay, I hope this thing is clear. The question is very simple. So let me give you uh, one more good example. Let's say I have something like uh, A, B, B, C. Okay, and this is my magazine, and I have to print something like let's say uh, A, B, B b okay like this okay so what will happen in this one so this is my this is my uh this is my magazine and this is my random node okay so what will happen i will uh i will i will check is my a present yes my a is present so i will just use it so my i use my a now i will check for b yes b is present a, it is okay now i will check for another b yes it is present but once i come over here so the b is already used so we use all the b's so what will happen it will become false for that because we don't have anything left okay so now you will ask like how we're gonna solve this question to solve this question there are multiple ways to solve this question like using hash map but uh, uh i will use one another thing which is quite efficient to solve this question okay so the so what i will use i will use uh i will use the kind of hash map but i will use it, its size so our string is of size 26 you know and they are only in lowercase they are all in lowercase so what i will do i will create one let's say frequency map so frequency map is kind of a hash map basically so what will happen in frequency map is i will i will count the uh, like i will count like how many times an element is repeating itself okay so let's say i have something like this uh okay till like okay so let's say this is my initial 0 1 2 3 till 25 okay because like you know in the in the array we index from 0 to 25 we can't index from 1 to 26 okay like that I hope this thing is clear, like you know, missing things. Okay, so guys, let's say this is my um let me just name it. So this is my A B C D like that. Let's say okay. So and A B C D, D till Z. Okay, guys. So what I will do, I will just simply I will just simply put my magazine. So I will now I'm putting my magazine. So how many times my A is coming in my magazine? My A is coming two times in my magazine. So it's coming two times. How many times B is coming? B is coming only one time. Anything else? No. Our magazine is complete. Now I will go for my ransom node. I will go for my ransom node. So B is coming only one time. So my mistake is coming only one time. Okay. All right, guys. So my B is coming only one time. Okay. So what will happen? I will just uh, create ransom node. So I will say, okay, I, I want A one, one time. So what will happen? I will decre decrement its frequency by one time. Okay. So how many A is present more? So only one A is present in this one. So my A is only one left only in this one. I print my A. So my A will come. Now I want one more A. So what will happen? I will again use this A. So I will again use it. So the all the A is exhausted now, and I print my all the random node. And my equation is balanced. Okay, because I like I don't have to worry about the remaining one. I don't have to worry about the remaining one. I just have to focus on my random node. Okay. So guys, that's how we will gonna solve this question. So I have the question still. If you still have, don't have any doubts, anything, don't worry. Uh, when I will uh, tap the code, you will understand definitely. Alright, guys. So what I will do, I will just simply say over here, I will first of all, my job is to create one uh, array, which is of size 26. Okay. So, you know, because like uh, in alpha alphabet from A to Z, we have 26 uh, uh, letters. So what I will do, I will just simply create that, that one only, which is size, size 26. Okay. All right, guys. Now what I will do, I will run a for each loop for care max zero one. Okay. So what I will do, I will convert the magazine into my array one okay so because you, you know like to use my frequency map i have to put in my array okay so what i will, I will simply say magazine magazine dot two pair array okay 
and what I will do in this one, I will simply say array th minus a. So what will happen? Like if the element is coming first time, it will insert one only for them. Okay. And if the element is repeating itself, it's coming more time, then it will increment by one. I guess that's what I will do over. I did over here. All right. Now my another job is to create my random node. So similarly for that as well, I will create one uh, for each loop for cal ch. Okay. And I will uh, again put into my array one. Okay, because like we, we, because you know, like I have to now decrease its frequency and check if the element is present or not, and how many times is present. Is it uh, fulfilling our dream or not? Fulfilling our like question dreams or not? Okay, random node dot two care array. All right. Now what I will do? I will create one if condition. I will create one if condition to check if my. So I will check if my array of ch minus a is zero so let's what i told you like uh, i have something like this so let's say i have something like my magazine is something like a a a c okay but my ransom note is something like a a c c okay so what will happen what will happen in this one you see i will exhaust from c i will exhaust from c so for that i just create this condition if if this thing will happen if this thing will happen then what i will do i will just simply return false for that I will return for that. Okay, and if you, if the element has frequency, let's say if the my if it has C as well, if the magazine has C as well, then it, it will print. Then it will definitely want to print my random node. So for that, what I will do, I will just simply decrement it by minus one. Okay, so I will say array ch minus a minus minus. Alright, guys, that's all what we have to do. And finally, return true. If uh, it's fulfill all the conditions, then I will return true for that. Let me just run this code, guys and let's see whether it's accepting or any compilation error we'll have it. no it's accepting so guys in this question what will happen like uh, i will tell you the time and space complexity what we are dealing with over here okay so it's accepting so if you look at over here in this one the time complexity we are dealing with is uh time complexity is big of m plus n which is like big of n okay why because like we are iterating through this and this is, let's say m and n so we are iterating through the m a string and any string only one time okay and our space complexity our space complexity is big of one why because like we have a fixed size of array of 26 because we have a fixed size of array because we are not dealing with any extra spaces okay so that's all the question is and that's all the code is and i hope you like this explanation and guys if you still have any doubt just do let me know in the comment section and ladies and gentlemen i will suggest you to watch this video again because it will definitely gonna help you to understand like how did i approach this question because I know like it might be tricky for someone, but uh, just do just watch this video again. Okay? You will definitely gonna understand, believe me. And ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for watching this video. I will see you in the next one. Till then, take care. Bye bye. And I love you guys.